Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten, and in this episode of my Digital Artist Vlog, I'm going to show you how to create your own custom t-shirts using Spreadshirt. So this is my Spreadshirt store. You can see I have all these cool custom designs that I made. The quality of these shirts is really good and really professional. Let's take a look at how to go ahead and make a shirt with Spreadshirt. So the first thing you're going to need is a piece of artwork. The best type of artwork for shirts is vector artwork, so you'll need to create your artwork using a program like Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to go to File New, and I'm going to make this particular design 11 by 11 inches, because that's a good general shirt size. And because I talk about vector art in other videos, I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but basically vector art is different from other kinds of artwork like digital paintings, because it can be resized and rescaled without losing any image quality. So if I zoom into this box that I drew as a vector shape, I can keep zooming in and zooming in and zooming in and it doesn't get pixelated at any point. It has a pretty much infinite size. So you can draw your artwork in Illustrator, you can use the shape tools, or you can use the blob brush tool, which is hiding under the brush. And then you can use your Wacom pen to draw in your artwork. So that's one way to make artwork. Let's take a look at another way, which is to create a digital painting in Corel Painter and then convert it into vector. So I'm just going to draw a quick piece of artwork. It's going to save me time if I draw that artwork on a new layer. So let's just do something like a flower. I'm going to pick a green color, and I'm going to use the scratch board tool. The important thing is since vector is solid colors, you'll want to use a brush that's set at 100% opacity that has a solid edge like this. So I'm going to draw the stem for the flower and a couple leaves. And then on another layer, I'm going to draw the center of the flower using this yellow color. Now the maximum number of colors for Spreadshirt is three colors. So you'll have to break your artwork down into a three color design if it's more than three colors. Let's choose a nice blue for the petals. And this will be our design. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and hide the background layer for the canvas just to make a transparent background. Then we'll go ahead and we'll do save as to save this. I'm going to save this as a PSD file. And then I'm going to name it flower. Now we want to open that flower PSD in Illustrator, or you can drag it and drop it in, which I'm going to do here. And let's use the arrow tool to go ahead and just move it down so it fits on our canvas. And then we will go to the image trace menu, which is found under window, image trace. That'll bring up this window here. The first thing that we'll want to do is we'll want to choose the preset called three colors. Then we'll want to look under the advanced triangle here, and we'll want to choose ignore white then give it a minute to do its thing and trace the image. Occasionally it doesn't always get the colors right, so if you need to just add one more color. So let's do that. Let's add four colors. Let's see if that gives us a better result. That looks better. So then we'll uncheck preview and we'll click trace and that will trace this and make it into a vector format. Now the next thing we need to do is click on the expand button up here. That'll make it so that we can edit these shapes and change the colors if we need to. Then if we look down here in the layers palette, we can open up this group and you can see each of the layers. So if you want to change any one of these colors, you can. We could change this yellow to something else, or the green to a different green, or the blue to a different blue. But what's important is that when you upload this to Spreadshirt, it doesn't really care what color you've chosen. As long as the colors are all different from each other, it's going to separate them, and it'll allow you within Spreadshirt to change the color of each color of ink, as well as the shirt background color. So let's just go ahead and save this. Let's go to File, Save As. I'm going to save this in the same folder. I'm just going to call it flower. We'll save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. And then I'm going to go over to Spreadshirt. You will, of course, want to set up an account. So you go to the Sell button up here. And then you click on Start Selling Now, and you can set up your account. It's completely free to set up an account. Once your account's set up, if you go to your profile and go to Upload Designs, you can upload an Adobe AI file. And all you have to do is just drag it and drop it, or you can click anywhere to open it in the browser. I prefer to drag and drop, so I'm going to do that. Then it wants to know how many colors are in this particular design. So this one has three colors. I'm going to click on three. We have to confirm that we're allowed to use this. Now what's important here is that you're not using anyone else's artwork or trademarks. So you can't upload the Coca-Cola logo. You can't upload things that other people have created, like other people's faces or other people's characters. These have to be your own unique designs that you created yourself. So I'm going to click on Describe Design. And I'm going to give it three basic tags here, but you can add as many tags as you want. This will help people find your shirt if they're doing a search for it. I'm going to click on Submit Design. And then it'll take a few minutes for your design to get processed by Spreadshirt. So you'll just have to sit back and be patient. You'll get an email when it's done, but it's usually within a few minutes of uploading the design. You can click here to double check and see if it's uploaded or not. 
but basically this icon will change. It'll say down at the bottom, confirm design when it's ready. So we'll just kick back and wait here till it's ready. And once you've received your confirmation email, you'll have to confirm the design. So if you just click at the bottom on this icon here, next to your design, it'll take you to this page. Now, they're going to show you anywhere that they've needed to adjust your design, and mainly that will be any areas of detail that are too fine or too small to print very well. So you may notice that if a corner is too sharp or something's too close together or a line's too thin, it may get eliminated from the piece. But most of the time, the design looks exactly the same. If it doesn't look exactly the same or it doesn't look how you want it to, you may need to go back into Illustrator and fix a couple things and then re-upload it. But this looks fine to me. So I'm going to click on yes. And don't worry about the colors because as I mentioned before, you can change each of these three colors once you start making a shirt. So I'm gonna click on next. And then if we scroll down, we can create a product with this design. Now, if you're gonna be selling these products, you may wanna set a design commission. You can set this to whatever you want. You can also set an additional commission for your store because you can sell these shirts through Spreadshirt or you can sell them through your own Spreadshirt store. So let's create a product with this design. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll go ahead and size the image. In the bottom right corner, there is the resize tool here. We'll move this down. You wanna make sure it stays within this box and you can put it wherever you want. And if you wanna center it, you can click on this icon here to make sure that it's perfectly centered. Now you can pick different kinds of shirts. You can pick men's shirts, women's shirts, kids shirts. You can pick different types of shirts if you want a V-neck or if you want a tank top or if you want a different kind of fabric for instance, but I think these premium shirts are actually pretty good. They're 100% cotton and I like them a lot. They fit well and they feel really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go with this men's shirt here. And then if I wanna change the colors of my artwork, I have these three different swatches here. So I can pick, let's say a pink for a pink flower. I can pick orange for an orange stem. I can make the center black. I can make a hideous shirt here if I want to. I can also add designs to the back and to the right and to the left. I can change the shirt color to something else. I think that looks pretty good. And then when we're ready to make this shirt, we just click on create. And then if we go back to our products overview and go to show all, we can see our new shirt. Now, when you're ready to start selling your shirt, you can click on add to shop and you can give it a description and keywords and a title, and you can also add it to the marketplace. The difference between the marketplace and your shop is your shop is your own personal page and the marketplace is kind of spread shirts, big store where they sell everybody's shirts. So the commission rates are different. You're gonna make more money if you sell from your own personal shop rather than if Spreadshirt sells for you. If you wanna buy your shirt, you can just click on buy and you can have your shirt sent to you. Now, if something happens and your design doesn't come out perfectly, you can also return your shirt or request a replacement. And I've had to do this on only one shirt that I've ordered and they replaced it immediately. So they're really good in the customer service department. And the most important thing is before you check out Always look here at the top on Spreadshirt's page because more often than not, they have these coupons where you can save on shipping or you can save like a certain percentage on shirts. So that's a good way to get a nice discount. So I hope that got you excited about creating your own shirts with Spreadshirt. I hope you'll check out my Spreadshirt store, aaronrutten.spreadshirt.com and pick up one of my shirts if you're so inclined. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And don't forget to click the subscribe button if you want to get updates when I release new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.